Hundreds of millions of birds are killed around the world every year, bumping into glass. The death toll in the United States alone is said to be one billion annually. Now, there have been moves to make bird-safe glass mandatory in some cities, including Toronto. This may expand to other centres in North America. Um, one of the players in this, uh, of course, is the manufacturers of glass. We are joined now by Marc Deschamps, Director of Products and Business Development at Walker Glass, which is a Quebec-based glass manufacturer. Thanks very much for coming on the show. Thank you for the invitation. We know this is a huge problem, uh, enormous bird losses. Tell us what rules are being put in first before you tell us what you guys are doing. I mean, cities are put, uh, mandating bird safe glass. And, and what is bird safe glass? Well, essentially, um, what we need to understand first is birds don't recognize glass as a solid surface. Uh, essentially what they see is what's reflected off the surface of the glass. So if they uh, see uh, an image of a tree, a skies, water, um, they think it's real and uh, they, um, there's a risk they will run into it. So essentially the idea is to create uh, what we call visual markers on the surface of the glass. Um, and uh, ideally on the outside surface, the, the, the surface that's facing, that birds are facing, mm -hmm. and essentially uh, that will act as, an, you know, as a, uh, an element that will alert bird that there is in fact a solid surface and they need to, uh, to veer off. So um, those visual markers uh, are established based on um, essentially um, criteria that the scientific uh, research and studies have found to be uh, effective and uh, that significantly, uh, significantly reduce the risk of collisions. So you etch patterns onto the glass uh, in, uh, during the manufacturing process? That is correct. We, uh, we, we um, basically uh, use large sheets of glass, very large uh, sizes, that we um, then uh, use our etching technology to uh, create uh, a, a pattern on the glass surface. And um, that has to respect a certain, uh, you know, a certain number of rules like geometry, spacing, uh, size. Um, those are all elements that are important in uh, considering whether or not a marker will in fact be effective at um, preventing uh, bird collisions. I mean, as you know, people can buy stickers to put on, on their windows. So what's the advantage of your approach? Well, our approach is uh, basically, uh, you know, it's, it's an implant process. It, it, it is, stickers are used mainly for uh, post-installation mm -hmm. uh, situations, right? When uh, windows have, uh, are put up and then uh, people realize that there is a, a problem, then stickers can be an option. Mm -hmm. But the uh, stickers don't tend to, uh, to be, uh, you know, sustaining uh, outside, uh, in, you know, conditions, uh, resist, uh, you know, wind, uh, rain, and et cetera, et cetera, or snow, of course. So uh, if you are going to have those markers on the outside surface of the glass, um, then you, you need to have a solution that is uh, permanent, that is, um, will, um, will definitely mm -hmm. Uh, stand the um, uh, the uh, the test of time, and uh, of course uh, be uh, resistant to uh, to outside conditions. Are cities uh, now mandating that buildings should include this glass? Well, as more and more cities are mandating this, uh, you, basically, it's um, it, there's really a, a range of different uh, uh, regulations we're seeing. Uh, some are mandatory, like City of Toronto is a good example. They had started way back and then gradually have tightened up the, 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 the standard. They have a pretty solid um, uh, one right now, which they just uh, updated uh, uh, last May. Uh, but there are other cities across, the Can across Canada and the United States that are coming up with, um, with some form of uh, legislation. Um, and uh, it's, um, it's a process that's evolving. Like I said, in some, some cases, the, uh, the strategies to start with 
uh, perhaps voluntary measures, and then down the road uh, go to mandatory uh, measures. Is there a bit of an aesthetic trade-off? Uh, we saw some visuals there where there are geometric shapes on the windows. Do you get pushback uh, from architects who say, no, my vision doesn't include that? <laughs> right. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, we're, we're not used to um, see anything on a window. I mean, that's basically what we uh, have uh, you know, uh, yeah. seen through the years. We're all you know, in our own homes and even in our buildings, uh, we're used to, to have uh, nothing, right? So mm -hmm. of course, introducing uh, some form of uh, a pattern on, on, uh, on the glass, on the windows is something new. Mm -hmm. and, and you're right, you, we, have to, uh, we have to integrate the design con considerations uh, into uh, our solutions and what we propose to, to the market to, uh, to building developers and architects. We're